Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. We are continuing our 1001 tarot spreads. This time we are on number 33. What stands in the way of your fulfillment? This reading is for those who have just suffered a setback and are looking for what got in the way and how do I get around it? So, let's get into it. We are continuing with the Chromatic Fates Tarot for this reading. It is a three card reading using only the Major Arcana. The first card represents whatever the goal is. The second card represents what is in the way. And the third card is how do I get around it? How do I avoid this problem? Let's see what Chromatic Fates has to tell us. Okay. Card one, the ambition or the goal, is the hanged man. Okay. Card number two, what is in the way, the empress reversed. I'm sorry, the emperor reversed. I, I promise I can read, just not always. <laughs> Card number three. How do you get around it? Um, the sun. Uh, the glare off of the, the embossing made it really hard to read. I don't recognize all of these ones on site yet. I've only had the deck less than a week. So, card number one, your ambition. It's The Hanged Man. It was drawn by Hendrik Visser. And there it is. Hanged Man being the ambition is interesting. That leads me to believe that you don't actually know what you want yet. Because the Hanged Man is the suspended in air. You're, you're not moving. You're not making a, a choice yet. Something has you by the foot and is not letting go yet. So I'm assuming the ambition then is to have a choice, be able to, to decide something. The card that's in the way, the Emperor, it is reversed. It was drawn by Erica Lynn Schmidt. The Emperor typically represents masculine authority. Masculine sovereignty. Sovereignty. Being reversed, what's getting in the way is you are not sovereign over yourself. Someone else is trying to make decisions for you, and it is causing problems. You need to figure out how to make the decisions on your own and regain your own autonomy. So card number three is what tells us how to do that. And card number three is the sun, which was drawn by Julia Lundman. It is upright. The sun is hope. The sun is, again, masculine, usually masculine energy. They have chosen to put a feminine figure in here. Actually, that ties in very nicely with how everything else is. Um, it's also important to note that they have butterflies on this. Butterflies are a symbol of transformation and freedom. The way you get around it is you just stop listening to that person who is trying to be sovereign in your life. Stop hanging on their every word. Stop trying to please them. Make your own decision. Become your own sovereign. Hopefully that helps. If you've been enjoying these videos, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, subscribe. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.